Hi, I'm Carolyn Dreyer. I'm the third generation of Dreyer's Meat Market. The building itself has been here since 1851. At the beginning, it was a wagon repair shop, and Alec Watson bought it in 1875, and it has been a meat market ever since. Which is kind of an interesting feature because in 1976, we became a National Historic Site being a meat market in an existing location for over a hundred years. And like my dad would say, you couldn't give a case of whiskey to get that. That is quite a distinction. My grandfather um, was 22 years old when he bought this business. After my grandfather died in 1964, my dad decided that it would probably be good to just specialize in a few things rather than the fresh meats. He would always say, you could get a pork chop at the gas station, which is almost true. So we have the things that we have had for over a hundred years. The German summer sausage, which we call German bologna. Liver sausage, which is kind of like a country pate. We have hot dogs, brats, and Polish for the grill. A really good ham that we take a lot of pride in. My dad was uh, quite a character and people really appreciated him and would bring in something from their family in their trunk, seeing if my dad would like. That is what pretty much we have on our walls and what we have collected is through my dad. The paintings, which are so wonderful, they look like a Remington, hung in the Warren family home. Uh, the tiles, they are Delft tiles from 1875, I believe. And of course, Larry Hagman's hat hangs between the two of them. My dad knew the Swift family, and Narcissus Swift was quite a character and would bring these people in. Ivan Albright, which is not everybody knows of him, but he's quite a renowned paint, painter and did a lot of sketching. And uh, Bill Malden was another one that she brought in. He drew a picture of Willie smiling, which he said was the first time that he had done that because Willie just had a taste of our bologna. The, there's some nice hats from the New York Central that hangs not too far from our window, and that was the New York Central at one time stopped in Three Oaks. The workers would run to dryers, get a steak, put it over um, their, the fire on a shovel, and by glean, their steak would be done. So that was kind of cool. Um, Carl Sandberg lived in Harbor, which is not too far away. And his, my dad went to school with his daughter, Helga. She gave my dad the Steichen photo of Carl Sandburg, which is a very notable photo. So I just want to say how nice it is to be here. We have four generations. Next year, hopefully, if we're all here, it'll be 100 years in our family. When do you say or see that very often. I read in the paper somebody that's been in business 30 years and it's really nothing as far as 100. But it's the person that comes in and says thank you for being here, which makes it so rewarding because it is hard work. It is repetitious and not always easy behind the counter. But when you find that person that has been in here, they're 80, they came in with their grandparents, and remember my dad and my grandfather most of all, it makes it all worthwhile.